What you see in my fingers is a diamond ring, an engagement diamond ring, 03, 04 carats, a nice engagement ring. So, from the first moment I started to study diamonds, my first question was, where is this diamond from? Where is the diamond mine when this diamond came? And uh, therefore, in the years, I developed the idea to visit, uh, for the first time, a real diamond mine. Well, thanks uh, to my very nice collaboration with my colleague Graham Pearson from University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada, I had the opportunity to visit a very, very suggestive uh, uh, diamond mine in Canada and actually uh, we were able to visit the diamond mine in um, close to the city of Yellowknife which is uh, about 400 kilometers north from Yellowknife and uh, this place is uh, 200 kilometers south uh, from the polar circle so this was a very very impressive visit and so we took a, an airplane from uh, Edmonton and after four hours uh, we were uh, on site uh, the Diamond Mine was really in the middle of nowhere because there was, uh, we overcame the three lines. You know, in Canada we have this, uh, assuming this line where the, the trees cannot uh, grow up. So there was the real tundra, Canadian tundra, and this was extremely, extremely exciting. So we enter finally in the Diamond Mine. We, we get a ride from the geological, the geological boss from the Diamond Mine, then we could visit uh, uh, the external part of the mine, which is uh, the, the, let's say, the outer uh, part of the conical uh, shape of the kimberlite, where they use the TNT to explode the, 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 the rock, where they got a lot of diamonds around. So we first visited the external part, and uh, when the, 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 the inclination is too high, then they must uh, escape some galleries all over the diamond mine, and then after this we went to visit inside the diamond mine. We visited the, the, the workshop where they prepare all the stuff, the, the, the tracks and everything at 600 meters. But the most exciting thing, for at least for a geologist, is that we could visit the real wall of kimberlite still at 1000 meters below the surface. So we went there. We had all our equipment for safety, for food, for water, because in any case you have to be careful if something happens. And then we were able to really touch with our hands the kimberlite. And so, you know, I was getting just crazy because I could, with my lamp, check for something very brilliant. There were many, actually many grains brilliant. You must know that for 1000 kilograms of rock, we could find even four, six, seven carats of diamonds. So, there was a good chance to get some diamond, but you know, it's totally forbidden to recover any gemstone, so no way. It was a desperate case. So finally, after visiting this 1000 meter site, we came back to the surface and we visited the implant for the diamond recovery. This was exciting again because we can see all these small rocks after breaking with these very, very hard uh, tools. Then they divided the rocks in small pieces. Uh, this uh, rock uh, uh, crossed the X-rays. The X-ray immediately understood where the diamonds are. And then finally, uh, you know, this, imp this implant was eight uh, floors, so very, very high implant. And then at the end, you can see like uh, snowflakes, uh, these diamonds coming down and we could see with our eyes all these diamonds producing one day and I can tell you that we saw in one day of production 27,000 diamonds, actually carats of diamonds, which is a huge amount of diamonds. So I can really tell you that if you have the chance, visit one diamond mine. That's it.